Forza is confirmed coming to Brawl Stars. What? That's right. Check out this tweet right here by the team lead of Brawl Stars asking our opinion on how they should do Club Wars. They're looking into different aspects of Club Wars. Still the early days. So probably not coming in this next update, which is of course everyone wants as soon as possible, but maybe the one after it? Let's keep reading. He's talking about accurate matchmaking and he goes and gives us a poll here. This video is brought to you by Summoner's War, celebrating their first ever collaboration, Summoner's War X Street Fighter V, featuring Ryu, Chun-Li, Dallas, M. Bison, and Ken. Summoner's War is the world's top mobile turn-based RPG, with over 110 million downloads on the App Store and Google Play Store. And Summoner's War is constantly changing, with lots of updates bringing fresh content, new characters, and new stuff. In Summoner's War, no battle will ever be the same, not only because of the endless possibilities of team compositions and strategies, but of course, the over 1,000 unique monsters to collect and awaken. But also, there's global P versus P, player versus player, where you can fight against people from across the world in real time. Enter the Summoner's War. Unleash a new world of adventure. Go download Summoner's War in the description below and summon your free Ken now. Let's assume there's 12 different ranks for clubs, and ranks change slowly, AKA every week, I guess a match length is three to five. I'm assuming matches, in other words, six to 15 minutes. And understanding that more accurate or strict matchmaking leads to a longer time in queue, which would you prefer? He's asking what sort of matchmaking do we prefer? If there's a rank, how different do you want the matchmaking to be as far as uh, plus or minus what rank you're facing? First off, this question in itself is pretty interesting, but what's most exciting about this is that they're starting to work on Club Wars and it should be coming within the next couple of updates. At the least, it's gonna be coming in 2020. It's on the timeline, it's coming soon, TM. Now this in itself is awesome, but what exactly could or will Club Wars actually look like? Let's take a look at some of the most popular ideas for Club Wars iterations that people have come up with. Maybe it could look something like this here, almost actually kind of similar to what Frank was talking about as well, where you have a couple different matches and the enemy has a couple different matches. Now, I don't know if you'd have one enemy or multiple, you know, depending on how, like, if it's similar to, like, what Clash Royale does, maybe? Now, this person's version is pretty unique. They basically have it as, like, takedown, where your both teams are facing off and they have an enemy boss on the map, or there's a boss on the map, and both teams try to deal as much damage as possible. I don't think that's what's going to end up being. I really, I mean, takedown's not coming back, and I don't think it's going to appear in Club Wars, but it's an interesting uh, picture. Now, check this one out. Someone actually made a video on their idea for Club Wars. By Let's and see. I haven't seen this yet. All club members can participate in Club yeah, Wars. Yeah, makes sense. The matchmaking is based on the activeness of your club. Okay, instead of trophies. Both clubs have to participate in events, which is just like a special event, containing two game modes, a random 3v3 okay. mode, and a showdown mode. All club members... Wait, I just want to pause. I actually feel like that's a pretty good idea, where you just pick two modes for Club Wars, and maybe it changes every single time. Instead of having it be like one of every single 3v3 mode, um, or not including, you know, Showdown or Duo Showdown, which is like the most popular modes. This way you can have a little bit of everything, I think, which makes sense. And it's Let's variety it's every time you play. Attacks to do in events and win cogs. One 3v3 win gives one cog, and okay. one Showdown win gives two cogs. Collecting cogs will let you build your club's robot. The more cogs you collect, the stronger will be your robot. On day two, all the members of both clubs will attack opponent's club robot. Each member has to attack on the robot individually, and has a maximum of three attacks. The club which destroys huh. opponent's club robot will be given an instant win. Otherwise, the club that dealt most damage wins. On day three, the winners will be given rewards, based on the damage dealt by them. The leaderboards on day one shows the ranking of club members, based on the cogs earned. Interesting. The robot thing, I don't know if that would happen. That's definitely unique, right? How well you do build up a robot, but I think it would just better be like how well you do determines whether you win or not, as opposed to another stage, which leads to still not knowing who won 
uh, until the robot is gone. I think it makes more sense to just everyone fight, you know, the different battles, and that'll give you points. The more points you have, you know, you're gonna win. What about uh, what about Club Wars looking something like this, which kind of makes it similar to Clash Royale's Club Wars uh, or their Clan Wars, I guess. Clan Wars Two now. I don't even know as much about that, but they're sort of Clan Wars One. Was kind of like this, where you have a bunch of different clubs. You face off versus each other, and maybe in this case, you're not even facing off versus each other. You just have, kind of like in power play, you get three matches a day, or in this case, you get three matches for, you know, your your club. You do those three, and they're not necessarily against the enemy clubs you're facing, but whether you win or not will determine whether you get points, which... I don't know if that's the best way to do it. It's definitely possible, and I could see that working. I don't know. It didn't really work very well for Clash Royale, though, so I'm not sure trying it in Brawl Stars is really the best idea. Now, here's another interesting version of Club Wars, potentially. In this case, this person has a club fights up a direct match against one other club, and you actually fight the other people in that club. And when you do so, you have a 1v1 match, a 2v2, and a 5 versus 5. I think the 1v1 is especially interesting now that we actually have a 1 versus 1 map, uh, which used to be called Open House Purple Paradise in Friendly Battles, so it is possible to do that. 2 versus 2. A lot of people start doing 2 versus 2s on that map as well, which is also actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't. 5 versus 5, Brawl Stars does have already talked about, is basically not coming to the game because it's too chaotic. Uh, on Brawl Stars maps and it ends up not really working. Either you can't see everything going on because it's, you know, you want to have a big map for 10 people or it just ends up being too cluttered and it's too crazy. So I don't think 5v5 will happen, but maybe you have something like this where it's different varieties. You have one versus one, you know, you have a showdown match, you have a three versus three, you actually fight against the other club. You know, that would be, in my opinion, a more interesting version, although I'm not entirely sure how well matchmaking would work because, you know, you got to have people online at the same time. Now, of course, you can have them be from the same region, but it still doesn't necessarily guarantee, you know, that you're going to have good and available matchmaking for that. Now, here's the most in-depth idea, I think, of all of these that I've seen. Uh, let's go through it. A club war for this person is a 24-hour competition. I think that makes the most sense. Both clubs have the same amount of players. That makes sense as well. I guess if it's an odd amount, someone has to sit out or something. And you base it on total trophies. I also think that is arguably the way to do it. The goal of Club Wars is to beat the enemy club by having more War Cups. Uh, and to get War Cups, they have five versus five. Oh, interesting. I mean, five versus five kind of makes sense for Club Wars, but we already talked about that. Probably not coming. Just replace it with random 3v3 modes, in my opinion. When you start a game, you're not facing players of the enemy club, but random players from any equivalent club. That seems like the most easy answer to do as far as solving matchmaking, um, but I'm not sure if it would be the most fun. You can have different size wars from five members up to 100. That would be pretty insane, but kind of makes sense. I don't know if five makes sense, but yeah, sure. Each game mode uh, has a different amount of time depending on the amount of players. I guess that makes sense, although maybe it could be confusing. Using uh, every time you start a game, the game mode utilizations decreases by one. The amount of times you can play. Each player receives eight war tickets at the beginning of the war, and each game costs one ticket. So in other words, you get to play eight different times. Uh, the more you, times you win, the more cups your club gets. All right. So how does it work? In the first picture, you can see a panel with different game rooms. Okay, over here I see. So maybe yeah, maybe that makes sense. For war day, there's just like this different lobbies. Uh, but only for war. Now for them, they have you join the waiting room and then when there's enough people, uh, eventually you ban a brawler. Adding brawler bans would be a lot of fun to Brawl Stars for sure, uh, as long as it doesn't take too long. Then you have a brawler selection page popping up. Uh, you can't play the ban brawlers, of course, and then you pick your brawlers and there's four different modes. Computer control, which sound, it's, they're saying it's like hot zone. They have like a present plunder mode, big bounty, which is bounty with five players, and then base raiders, which is like a MOBA. So they have totally unique modes for club wars, which honestly probably doesn't make any sense because if you've never played a mode, probably practicing a club wars is not the best place for it. But cool, you know, it's more fun to have more modes, right? So they have computer control, which is like hot zone here. You stay in, yeah, basically hot zone, steal the maggot? Oh my god. 
kind of weird, but present plunder, essentially. But five versus five? Oh, oh no, no, that's interesting. If it's tied, it, it goes to a sudden death, five versus five showdown. That would be an interesting way to do sudden death. Big bounty? It's bounty game, but with five versus five? I mean, that'd be fun. Base Raiders. I'd love to have a MOBA style type thing. And then, you know, War Rewards, they got turning into a club chest, basically, with a high drop rate of star powers. Huh. Interesting. And for the losing club, half of the War Cups are destroyed. In other words, I mean, I think it's just another way of saying you have a worse reward. Basic. Well, let me know. Let me know down below what idea for Club Wars you think would work best. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another great Brawl Stars video right over there that I'm sure you'll also enjoy. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Hope everyone's doing well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.